push anyone to cross my path. The blood that flows through her veins is special and extremely dangerous. If showing pity would put my allies in danger, I will not hesitate to kill them. are not to be underestimated. Yes, I must wholeheartedly agree. As ever, I have proven to be no match for you. It is the utmost honor to receive praise from your Roy. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Really, though, I was lucky to have Teach on my side. Darn right you were. In all honesty, you two made me work for it. If I had to face you again, there's no telling which way it would go. Oh, look at Claude what being think, deceptive for their... The other house is fair? I do think the Black Eagle is better than the Blue Lion, for the very simple reason the Black Eagle actually went to the field and, and was aggressive. You can't be passive in a battle and, you know, expect it. it what's going to happen is that maybe you're lucky and both sides wear each other out. But for the most part, you're just going to end up Not strong enough, clearly. If there's ever a next time, know that I plan to wipe that smile from your face. And agree. Whoops, crap. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, now that the three-way battle has ended in an alliance victory, I dare say it's time for some post-battle reconciliation. Yeah, let's go the check out all the people we beat up. One request. Hear me out. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective I'm actually houses. completely behind this idea. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. <laughs> I accept your proposition. But please notify me once your preparations are complete. It seems I have no choice but to drown my sorrow at losing an overindulgence. I'll help you with the preparations. <laughs> it's not a feast if you don't eat too much. Leave it to the Imperial Princess to say such wonderful things. <laughs> That's not exactly what I said, but forget it. Laugh all you want. No, well, if you insist. <laughs> hey, Teach. Looks like you're having a good time too. I'm so stoic and you smile not really. Like that means we've got no choice but to have a. My expression time. has literally not changed. Let's get going. So I feel bad that I was out in the field and like no one else was. Although, granted, you know. I it was short two people, so or three uh, people actually. I can't believe our house leader ate so much he passed out. I guess he should just sleep it off. Oh, professor, great work today. Wow, not I don't as even see. As long as we have you and Claude, the Golden Deer House is unstoppable. Hey, Leonie's great too. I am sure we did not require Claude for our victory, but it certainly would not have been possible without our professor. <laughs> I'm so pleased to be in your class. Obviously, yeah, because this is the one we're going around the monastery. Let's keep fighting and winning. I knew the tactics you learned from the captain would be something else. I better work harder to catch up. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. Because you will of have you, it. I managed to get through the fight without feeling like a burden. You actually Thank did get taken out. Just so I you know. Lady Rhea and Sedith are singing your praises too. Yep. You're always He's so passed better. out. How could he approve? You really showed them, Teach. I would really hate to be on your bad side. Oh look, Claude has been revived. Your tactics were ingenious. And you've somehow mastered the power of the King of Liberation. No, well, I didn't use it. I'm not using that on students. Incredible. Though you can be a bit absent-minded at times. Your mind is like a giant bowl with a tiny crack in it. Claude, saying that only makes your own mind bowl seem tiny. But you don't say mind How bowl. dare you? My bowl is much bigger than Teach's. Unfortunately, it doesn't just have a crack. The whole bottom of my bowl is missing. <laughs> In other words, you are the absent-minded one, not our professor. That's true. He just admitted it. <laughs> it's unusual to hear you laughing, Marianne. Your smile is really cute. It feels so great to laugh and joke around like this. Yeah, I hope nothing it? bad happens in this game. Mm -hmm. Well, look at that. Someone's having a secret rendezvous in the courtyard. Well, if it's in the courtyard, it's not going to be much of a secret now, is it? All joking aside, I'm having trouble sizing you up, Teach. The honest truth is that I'd hate to have you as an enemy. If possible, I wish for you to fight by my side. 
If I could use the sword of the creator, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Well, you wouldn't have it. But if I could use it, you would trust me to, right? That selflessness may be what I like best about you. <laughs> I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. Well, of course they have. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. See, so this is a nice, or a decent guy now. your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So... You've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. God dang it, shut up. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Remire Village to investigate an abnormal... Ooh, is this another relic? There. Flare up? Remire Village. If I recall, you've been there with your father How do many you... times. You must have access to my memories because you didn't show up until just now. Or just before I got to here. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. All right, sounds like a thing I can do. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. Oh, I got a blessed lance. Didn't I get like a devil lance? Yeah, the killer lance. Now I've got a blessed lance. I actually want to send both of them to convoy, to be honest. All right, here we go. New chapter. Part one. White clouds. Red wolf moon. The flame in the darkness. Must be a pretty small flame if there's still darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus like it's the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The Why is that guy still pot marks on his face? The full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. I was actually talking. I forget what he said made them red. There's a star starlight glow. I have not done any linked attacks. <laughs> Primarily because it's very, very rare that I, you know, in a position to do that. Oh, awesome. Hey, Cyril. nosing around places aren't you professor it can be real hard to find you sometimes oh i've i've no seen this before well she, that's pretty much yeah this is okay. the problem with playing on two files no if i'll be in the state oh but if i figure if it looks like a no beside i don't know why Oh, yeah. Anyways, and remember. Huh? I don't want to. Then he. A real good. Okay, so, yep, skipping past that. So, there's actually, nothing going on today. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine. But the chances are extremely slim. Well, that's lame. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either Sings a box. mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Remire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything. After you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease, my child and I 
owe the people of Remire Village. If something's well, I've got a there, name, you know. We must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights. Hear what they have to say. You can at least say it a little more casually, like the two of Thank us. Of my child and I. I. I get you're trying to not say my name, but... You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor, a bit of a tease, are we? <laughs> a girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? I'll be wandering around trying to find items people dropped. Helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Why did I just heartbeat? Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Whoops. I keep feeling the auto advances. What could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. So it's your doing. Stupid witch sister that lives in my head. Oh, I don't have the option to do anything. Alright. I suppose that's fine. Well, obviously people the most are the ones I'm instructing. All right, and Raphael can learn quite a bit. He's already pretty good at punching people. Kitty, move. That was pretty. <laughs> Look. Guess I'm so. You really? All right, and then we'll focus on punchy, punchy, punch, punch. Ignatz. Wow, you're almost. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I've... It's fun when. He was just too close. I couldn't not do it. I'll keep trying my. I can't believe I got. All right, and Cyril, I, I I really shouldn't be doing Cyril in all honesty because I hardly ever use him, but I got it. Oh, thank you. Well, that's real nice of you to say, Professor. I got it. And the last one. Yeah, looks like all these guys just barely have any patience. You don't get to see her very often, so. Ugh. I didn't study hard enough, clearly. That's okay. Alright, so I want. Ignatz. You know, not even at Lawrence anymore. Ignatz and Leona. All right, there we go. Right, that. Gotta ask you something. I just want to eat meat and fish. But I'm in the dining hall, so I gotta eat vegetables too. I don't know if full of stupid leaves. Makes sense to me. Professor. 
No, you're still my heavy armor person. You're my bulwark. Hey, Teach, hold on a minute, okay? I'm gonna have this cleared up in no time. Don't believe you. Yep, needs a help? Nah, that's okay. I'll be finished soon. I'm just in the middle of mixing up a new poison. And done. What do you think of that, Teach? A colorless, odorless poison. Say, care to test it out for me? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is water. Yeah, be prudent. In two days' time, you'll have a terrible case of... Let's call it stomach trouble. It's a peaceful poison, so you'll live, but you'll certainly be inconvenienced. I hear your silent question, Teach. Why the delay? That's so it can be used even if you don't have access to the target when you need the poison to take effect. Uh, naturally, I have no immediate plans for this stuff. I suppose I just felt like broadening the old horizons a bit. How do you know it works? I think you should take it. When devising schemes, it's best to have as many options at your disposal as possible. Expanding those options is kind of a hobby for me. I'm wondering if it's real or not. Well, I grew up in an environment where it was necessary to think that way. It's like I told you before, I wasn't born into a life of luxury. Ever since I was a child, I've always been seen as different from those around me. An outsider of sorts. But you seem to wear the mantle pretty well. There have even been attempts on my life. I don't believe I've earned such treatment, but that's how it goes for people like me. Thanks, Teach. You know, in many ways, I'm just a normal person like everyone else. But in the right environment, anyone could be seen as an outsider. Well, being an outsider isn't it can bad. become overwhelming. And that's why I kept running. Kept fighting. As a kid, I spent a lot of time licking my wounds and coming up with schemes. Trying to keep my nose out of trouble while plotting against my enemies. My parents always told me I wouldn't grow stronger if I didn't learn to fight my own battles. And so in the end, I did. And I grew up to be as independent as self-reliant as my parents always wished for me. Do they wish for it now, though? Lucky me, right? If anyone knows what I'm talking about, it must be you, eh, Teach? I get the feeling you know what it's like to be an outsider. The moment I first laid eyes on you, I knew you weren't like everyone else. People don't care for folks like that. You do well to watch your back. On the bright side, that's also part of the reason that I find you so interesting. Hooray! Claude likes me. Alright. Rank B, ladies and gentlemen. Tomas doesn't seem to be here. Oh, well, that's fine. I've been researching the hero's relics a lot since we last spoke to him. I found out something interesting. Oh, do tell. It's about the connection between crests and the hero's relics. And how mine can work without the... Each relic is carved with a specific crest, the one that has the ability to wield it properly. The crests are the keys. You need the right one to safely use a hero's relic. We already knew that, the though. The only thing I can't figure out is, why doesn't the Sword of the Creator have a crest stone bearing a crest? Yeah, it used to have one. Precisely. At least, that's my current guess. There's more. I believe the crest stones might be the source of the relic's inhuman power. When Miglon transformed just into a black put beast, crest stones in everything, he was then? taken over by something that originated from the crest stone. And the crest stone was on his body. It all seems to add up. Now, look at this picture I found in the library. That creature is called the Immaculate One, who was supposedly sent by the goddess to save the followers of Saros. Not very immaculate. Pattern on its brow and a faint circular boundary. Isn't it possible that's a crest stone? If all this is true, then crest stones are what power the ability to assume massive forms okay. like that of the Immaculate So eventually I might turn into a beast if I keep using the... the... Relics can well, that's good. I haven't that ever used it. Power. Oh, it is you. Have you seen Tomas recently? No such luck. I was hoping to speak with him myself, but he seems to be out on the town. I see. Well... Hmm? Where did you find that picture? It was in the library. Why do you ask? 
Is it something my youthful eyes <laughs> shouldn't be seeing? No, of course not. However, that is not part of this library's collection. It must belong to Tomas. It would be problematic if it got mixed in with the other books. I will take possession of it for Interesting. now. Interesting. You're definitely trying to hide something. No one can see it, you mean. What was that? Well, that's what Tomas said. He said records that the monastery doesn't approve of tend to disappear. Tomas said that? Preposterous. I have far too much to accomplish to waste time with this foolishness. He was certainly in a hurry. I wonder if he's off to confront Tomas. Well, he took the picture, so I guess that's that for now. I'll see you later, Teach. We can just sketch it again real quick. I've, I've got it recorded. I can just go back and look. So, the church is hiding something after all. Some massive secret about relics and crests. A secret that must have something to do with the professor's true identity. Hey, stop trying to research me. Not okay. It's Linhart's birthday. Host tea party. I am happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. I felt bad for kicking your ass in a second ago. Much appreciated. It smells good. Agree. Okay. I disagree. Ah, I don't know enough about him. Agree. <laughs> That was delicious. All right, so I didn't get 100%, but still got a little bit closer to him. Let's do this. Yeah, let's get this done. Get her done. Good enough, Professor? My efforts have borne fruit. How's this gonna help? All right, you learned how to smite. All right, so now we have a day we can do stuff if we so choose. First of all, I'm just curious. Two pair logs. One with her? I, mean, I can do both of those, and I likely will. Oh my gosh, it's going to... Again, I'm not going to do little any lectures, because I definitely need to explore. That's kind of terrible. Oh, I haven't actually changed that. Hilda has access to that. Okay. Skip. Why would you ever do that? I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? A little bit, because it's almost, it's 2 a.m. And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. All right. So first of all, what am I going to do this time? That says registrants. I thought it was like new restraints. Why are there new restraints available? What is going on here? That's weird. I don't like it. And I was like, wait, this is registrants. Never mind. I have learned to read. All 
don't know why. I always think there's something up here, and there never is. Which is rude. What? Hmm. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Where was Monica in the battle? Need something? I was just... And you won't let Monica speak. This... This is my first time working with THE Gerald, the legend known across the ages as the Bladebreaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> okay, so... I guess we'll try it. I these are always annoying because like they he just he's not he's not able to get through. He's got he's got level B. All right, come on. Should have trained better. All right, round one. I win. Should have trained better. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. Quarterfinals, a level 14 brawler. So I'm down to 30 health. I, why can't I heal at all? I can restore... This is the quarterfinals. Mm. I think he can do it, because he's going to do 10 damage. All right. Excellent, excellent. I do think Raphael is going to win this. Ooh, 13. Look at him. He actually out damaged me a bit. But he only hits. Nope, he hits twice. Man, I could have actually lost this if I didn't dodge the one time. But I did dodge the one time. Steel Gauntlets Plus. Excellent. Well, all right. So that was a good use of my time. I'm pretty happy about that. Keep an eye out for blue sparklies. Don't see anything yet. I need a favor. Yes. Interest. I thank you for your kindness. I said yes. I don't have. I can't. No. Okay, go away. That's something they really do need to fix. Is that it? It should not necessarily charge you. So that's beret girl. It looks like there's someone back here to talk to, but there sure isn't. I am so happy.
happy to be part of your class, Professor. I'm happy you're because around. It reminds me of when Whoops. I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Was it? Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. <laughs> So I won't go through all of these. I, I, I'm on, on my actual one, I spent a little bit more time off camera trying to get everything back to its, its correct person. Because it, I do think it's pretty important to like get everyone to like me as much as humanly possible. Hmm. The librarian is always out and about these days. How dare he? Just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. He can live his own life. Don't pressure him. You don't know him. So I don't see any of those blue areas that indicate, um... Like discussions to have with people. <laughs> oh, Professor, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Until we haven't won oh, anymore. Come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the? Well, battle? Yeah, I was there. What an incredible thing to witness! Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. Yep, nothing up here. So that's obviously Claude's. Why are there people in my house's, like, barracks chambers that aren't part of the house and aren't even... Like, it's odd that they, they go through and they ha they put so much effort into giving all the students, like, personalities and such. And then, it's like they want the school to see more popular, so they put all these mooks in there as well. And I'm like, could you, you know, not? Because it just, it kind of kills a little bit. Because I'm, I'm like, I know that these characters are supposed to be interesting and have a lot of personality. So just, you know, stand by that. Stand by me. So Bernadetta's back, but down here in her room. What is it? Uh, sorry, I've um, I've got a cold. Sorry for like beating you up. I don't think this would be something that she cares about. Um, I don't know. I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. Okay, I figured because she never like leaves this area, so anything you find around her room is hers. I had a feeling. Your medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Oh my gosh, it is so much medicine deeper. It's all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms. I'm sorry, just the well, way deeper. Medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. All right, as always, we'll go ahead and harvest what we did last time. Oh, we got a miracle bean. All 
don't know what a miracle bean does, but it sounds good. Hey, Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Did he? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Uh, you, obviously. Yeah, he's pretty important in the Empire. I thought I mentioned it to you before. He's the Minister of Military Affairs. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Hey. So we still don't know anything about those missions, so I don't know who to ask to come along for their, like, special dialogue. Maybe. Of course it's perfect. I had a competition about this and I won. Alright, we'll go ahead and do one more of these. I like to I don't like to do these for too long. Wow. Well shut my mouth when I'm like, yeah, of course I'm amazing and I'm the best. Here's Ash. So, I'm worried about Remyer. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my life. Oh, are you the one coming along I'm then? I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? Huh? You're in, but I'm really afraid. He's a good possibility. Uh, gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing yeah, he's reports. always so upbeat. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. He is, he is the most unexpected voice in this game. I always actually look forward to talking to him. Greetings, Professor. Uh, at me? Who do you think you are? Alright, so go ahead and run back up here and go through this wonderful doorway. All right, we're coming up on our first quest. Look forward to it, guys. Hello. You know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delicious. The quickest way to a woman's heart. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Dessert. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? You know, Professor, why... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have a request. Man, they keep having me do a whole bunch of extra stuff all the time. I never get to go to lectures anymore. I, ca I don't want to miss out on the mock battles, but I also like, I like going to lectures. Five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. <laughs> ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? 
Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands Is this for the, the work. prequel to you asking me to do stuff? That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's <laughs> just rude. A two-toned whetstone. Of the four, it was four. Ah, if I take as you were that room, one. Hey now, I have a favor to ask. Of the four, it, if I as you were that room, want. Hey now. Ah, God. Ah, if I as you were that room, want. Hey now. I've got to just hold it down. Hey you, do me a favor. Interesting, is there only one I have to pick? Because I gotta tell you, if I gotta pick, I'm picking Shamir. Shamir is exactly hitting all of the right, like, buttons for me. Hello. See, I can see over here there's someone that I can now talk to. Maybe I can talk to him all the time. Yep. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Oh, I'll be waiting I and didn't seeing. I catch a single fish last month. But this month, oh, this month. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? I sure am. It feels like so long ago that you two came here. Eh, about 22 episodes. Oh, got this. Cups. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. Off how about you? God dang it, I keep mm. you leading the life you envisioned for yourself. And here's Raphael. Of course he's in the dining hall. Where else would he Professor, be? Can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. <sighs> Good point, Professor. I think I need to see other meats right now. Then I can come back to fish. <laughs> I knew I'm it was something ready. to do with food. Okay, so Petra. I like her. Why do these guys have up arrows? So none of my people are really super into it. And I think Ash is also pretty, you know, like pretty favorable towards us. Oh, Leona is. Greatly. This looks delicious. Let's eat. Excellent. All right, we'll go to the other side and talk to these people. Here's to do who you can never recruit ever. Investigating Ramire Village. Be on your guard. Hey, the news reached us of the disturbance. Ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. What'd you find out? We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless. What if we run to the Death Knight again? For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumors suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. All right, and then the last thing we'll do in this episode make our way up here in order to have choir practice. Then I'll choose who to have um, Varath learn from next time and also go through the S-Links. And of course finish the quests. But I figure like, we'll be going on forever if we try and do all of this all together. All together now. Smile on your brother. So, Dorothea.
Um, I'm indecisive. Yeah, Annette? I don't think she really wants to come, though. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Singing's okay, but I... Okay, I can't even see her faith experience. Alright, so we got that done. Who are you? Who are you, Mr. Monk? During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the goddess protect all of you. All right. Oh, hey, one of the quests is in here. What is it? I'm in the middle of... I assume you know by now that the four saints are all important figures. Well, in of the course, of duh. Saints. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. Need something? Somewhere tonight? Wow. I'm getting a lot less renown now than I used to. So, Lance skills plus two, flying plus two, riding plus two, or divine pulse plus one. This one? You're all set. See you again soon. <laughs> More abilities to get myself out of trouble is always a plus. Alright, and with that done, I'll go ahead and end this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I will see you all really? tomorrow when we basically just can see what we're doing. Oh, hello! This is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times, I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. All right, and with that, let us save correctly, and I will see you all in the next one. Quick, quick preview, though. So, wow, still no supports from me. Why don't you guys like me more? Wah. Um, but there are a lot of supports between all of these guys. So we'll get to see lots of wonderful things. Doesn't look like anyone has developed anything outside, but it's not surprising. Like, how, how would they really be able to do that, you know? I don't know. I should stop asking questions I don't know the answers to. Bye-bye.